Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. It's time for Let's Eat. Let's Eat's brought to you by Why Cook. Eat local, fresh, and healthy. Check out whycook.com for that local restaurant, food truck, or chef in your neighborhood. And speaking of a local restaurant, we are here with Kenny from Casa Ramos Redux. Yes. I love that. So you guys are the originals, but you're redoing it. You're changing it yes. up. So tell us a little bit about Casa Ramos Redux and what you guys have kind of your history and all that yeah. good so stuff. We've been doing it for 15 years. The restaurant burned down three years ago. Oh, wow. um, so when we decided to build it during the pandemic, it just, you know, one thing after another took a long time for us to get to this point. But when I designed it, I was like, I want to build it like my house. Mm -hmm. I want it to feel like a spa, but also relaxing. Nice. And you know, create that kind of atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it's all about having, like, as if you were having guests come over to your home. Correct. That's how you want your, your guests to and, feel. And here go some pictures, and as you were saying, it's just a nice, comfortable place that you yes. want to have. Almost to zen. Come in, almost zen-like, which yes. is kind of cool. And there's some hidden spots and stuff around all there. Right. Even to the part where you actually have a tattoo parlor. Yeah, so when it burned down three years ago, I didn't know it was going to be a tattoo parlor. I was like, I spent so much time at the restaurant, I'm created a lounge. Got a My brother bought me a machine. From there, it just kind of turned into like, you know what? I'm gonna do a tattoo shop called it Exit Through the Ink Shop. So create so you that. You can come in, get a meal, get a cocktail, get a tattoo. Kind of create an experience, you know, for the customer. Oh, yeah, I love it. That's awesome. Okay, let's talk about the food and the experience there. This, smells this amazing. dish right here looks so good. So these are traditional, kind of, kind of from Jalisco. Mexico is so big, and I think there's a misconception of like what Mexican food is because tacos and burritos is not just it, right? Yeah. So what I did is I just took dishes that I grew up eating, like the chile relleno with a poblano rice. Right, you traditionally get Spanish rice, but I was like, let's just do tomatillos, poblanos, and serranos. Mm. Roast them, blend them, create that. The poblano, we roast it, uh, seed it, panela cheese, corn, and then we beat the egg whites to create like a nice fluffy pillow and just give it a light fry. Oh my gosh, wow. that's um, awesome. The churros, yes. I went gluten free a couple years ago, so my brother's like, I'm gonna create some gluten free churros for you so we can offer it to menu. And also, there's a lot of allergies out there, so I was like, dude, let's do it. Absolutely. Phenomenal. He creates his own chocolate, so good. All right, this dish Ooh. here. Carnitas, okay? I take, we take pork cushion. Uh, we render it in its own pork fat. We, did, we take Mexican Coca-Cola, white pepper bay leaves. We zest some orange, let it roast for like three hours. And then when they're nice and tender, you come into the table. We shred them on the flat grill with onion, jalapeno, and tomato and create a light crisp. Wow. Dude, it's so good. Amazing. Memorable. So that's where you said you soak it in the, the Mexican Coca-Cola because of the sugar and the different It taste. creates a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Just kind of, because you got to remember, it was cooked by poor people. Uh -huh. Mexican food is poor people. We don't have the luxury of having like chefs, right? So it's like moms and grandmas that are yeah. just like, you know, I'm putting well, a little bit of this. they have in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. 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 In the kitchen. It's like so, alfajores. Yes. That's just a take on a Peruvian dessert because my brother, my chef, Giovanni Ramos, he, his fiance, his mom, her mom is from Peru, so she's like, dude, it'd be nice to have something from Latin America that's a little bit different. Yeah. And, and still tying I, it into I your family. I want to stand out. I want to yeah. stand yeah. out. You know, I'm in Mesa, not a hopping place where I'm at yet, but I want to draw those people in. For I love sure. It. All right, the drinks. Let's the talk drinks. there. Charanda. You don't think Mexico when you see when you think Mexico, you don't think rum, right? right? Well, there's an indigenous tribes um, in Michoacan, Mexico, that created a mushroom rum. Oh my goodness. So Ooh. my thought was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a cocktail out of it. I'm gonna call it La Bruja de Michoacan to give it kind of that, that mystique. Paired with Liquor 43 and Bamboo, basically you have a nice, you know, does it's it, refreshing. Does it taste like mushrooms? Do you get like a mushroom flavor no, out of it? No, not really. Do you no, get a mushroom like a but, but you get a mushroom journey? It's known to have, it's <laughs> not, they, these people that drink this in the distance yeah. tribe were not influenced by the Spaniards as much, so. It smells good. Yeah. They say they have a lot of healing, uh, Powers, powers in there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very, very like cool. So I'm getting a healing power Correct. drink. And Love they've been it. doing nice. it for over 300 years the same way. Love it. So there you go. Probably after a couple of these, you will be on a little journey. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. All right, margaritas. Margaritas, okay. So I love margaritas. That, I've been doing it forever. I'm not a mixologist or anything or a craft bartender, but I understand margaritas. So what okay. I did is I take some of my comfortings, coffee, lavender, I love. So I was like, I'm going to do it in a margarita. So when I see <laughs> it up by the pool, and then what? I put it on my restaurant, and the people loved it. All right, let's make it. What do we got? Okay. We have La Gritona. There's not a, in Mexico, only woman distiller. Oh my goodness. No yes. way, yes. wow. Right. It's not common, just kind of like bourbons, a lot of the spirits. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Get a little jigger of that. Jigger so, of that. There we okay. go. So we're gonna do an ounce of everything, okay? Okay. okay. Empress gin. An ounce of everything, I love it. yes. Love it. I love gin. It creates yeah. like a little nice floral I note to it. I love the color on that too, that's beautiful. That's a blue gin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set so. these over here. Okay. okay, then? Arizona lavender. All right. Okay. It's beautiful. a syrup. So I'm gonna do an ounce of that. Wow. And from here in Arizona? Yep. Yep. Love it. Company. There you go. Enjoy it. Corn then. troll. I mean, you choose what you want. Triple set, corn troll. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Give it that margarita. sweetness, yes. It's all the same. They're brandy. Yeah. 
the traditional margarita, lime juice, cointreau, tequila. All right, keep it going. Is there? And then you so, top it off with that lime juice over there. Lime juice. Love Amazing. it. Love it. There we go. All right. Then a little bit of bitters. Ooh. Oh, this is a definitely. Okay, you're definitely a mixologist. There it is. There this. it is. Come on. Quick little shake, and then. Wow, that's quick look and easy. I love that. Look at the color on that. Ooh. That is beautiful. Not, nice. only, not only does it look good, it's, oh. it's going to keep you coming back. That, so like, definitely with the food and everything. Where can people find you? On Main Street between Gilbert and Stapley. We're open from 4 to 10, closed on Tuesdays, and then 12 to 10 and 12 to 8 on the Saturday and Sunday. I love it. Oh, I, love I love it. it. There it is. Thank All right. you so much. You so well, much. We definitely got to go check out Casa Ramos Redux. I appreciate it. Thank All you, right. guys. Thank you. Brad, are you going to try that? I think I might go with this one. Try it.